What up, though, Scorpio? What's cracking, like? I hope that all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. Thank you to all of my beautiful subscribers, for you guys who have been patient with me during this little storm that I've experienced, okay? So we're going to get into this reading and see what it is that you need to know. If anything does resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. If you are interested in a reading, I'm running a special on my readings. All the information about the specials, the prices will be in the description box below, okay? So we're going to go on and get into it with you guys and see what you need to know. All right, so this reading is going to be about the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands in reverse, okay? The first card I pulled was the Two of Wands, and I clarified the Two of Wands and got the Page of Wands in reverse, okay? So this is who the reading is going to be about. <clears throat> So we're going to start off with the page of wands first, even though I pulled it last, okay? I feel like this reading is about someone who lacked direction in the past. They really didn't know. I feel like someone had a choice or a path to take, and they really didn't know which way to go. This is someone who I feel like is making progress after experiencing a lot of delays in their life, as procrastinating here, okay? Maybe there was some conflict that was created. Someone who experienced a lot of bad news or a period of being and unstable you know what i'm saying so i feel like someone here is finally making progress they're able to plan they're making a decision now after losing direction in the past someone could be leaving home or moving away from home someone you can be making traveling plans this is spring break so you guys be careful if you are traveling but i feel like some decision whatever progress is being made this is making someone very happy because now it's finally like their goals and their dreams are starting to be attained here like someone could experience a lot of delays maybe a business starting off career whatever it was and for some of you this could also be a reconciliation that's going to happen between you and someone after them losing direction or losing their way in the past here okay yeah i'll take what resonates some of you could be doing we got heavy fire energy okay so this gives me action for some of you guys, this could be coming in real quick. So let's see what the situation is. Hey. Messages for my Scorpio. So let's see what the situation is with the Two of Wands and the Page of Wands. Ah, we got the King of Cups. So the situation is that someone here is very cold. They could be moody. They're secretive. They can be ashamed of something. Or they could be trying to manipulate you emotionally. Or they could have been manipulated emotionally here okay so i feel like someone here is able to make progress okay but the situation was that i feel like they were stuck and there were a lot of delays because they could have been emotionally manip manipulated okay they could have been ashamed there could have been some secrets here there could have been a very volatile situation so someone could have been dealing with a king of cups this could have been a father figure this could have been a masculine energy this could be a feminine energy as well so tell us more about this king of cups holy spirit messages for my scorpios i love you scorpio tell us more about this king of cups page of swords for some of you this king of cups has been spying on you they're very thirsty to get some type of information about you mm. This person can also be reaching out. You could be receiving a message here from a page of swords. This could be air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But I feel like this is someone who's very thirsty for some type of information or knowledge about you. Okay, so some of you could have been dealing with this King of Cups in the past. Someone who was emotionally immature, who tried to manipulate you emotionally, you know, play off your feelings and emotions and shit. Okay, this could be someone who's very thirsty for some information about you. All right, so what happened in the recent past? Let's see what's going on here. Messages for my Scorpio. So what happened 
in the recent past between Scorpio and this person. So what happened, Holy Spirit, in the recent past between Scorpio and this person? All right, so in the recent past, there was an issue. And what the issue was, Scorpio, is that you put in a lot of hard work and determination. You know what I'm saying? You were trying to make something work. So you were possibly trying to work with someone, collaborate with someone who was not willing to collaborate and work with you. Or for some of you, this could have been work that you were putting in. Maybe this was your career. You know, and you weren't seeing, like, the fruits of your labor. Y'all take it how it resonates. All right, this could have been someone who was trying to put in work in another situation, okay? And that she did not work for them. All right, so let's see what the current problem is. Messages for Scorpio. So let's see what the current problem is when it comes to this situation. So what's the current problem? Mm. All right, so there's a lot of confusion. Someone here is, is indecisive here. Someone here is trying to make a decision about which one is going to be the lesser of the two evils, okay? So someone here feels like no matter what choice they make, neither choice is going to be the right choice. But they're trying to figure out which one is going to be the lesser of the two. You know what I'm saying? So this could be someone who was putting in possibly a lot of hard work, maybe in their career, in another relationship, marriage, situation here. But it's like they've experienced some type of overload. Tell us more, Holly Spirit. So what are the outside influences when it comes to this person? So this is someone who's trying to make a decision, but they're trying to figure out which one is going to be the lesser. Tell us about this two of swords, Holy Spirit. Someone could be dealing with the Libra. We got Virgo. Tell us about the two of swords. Ah. So someone here is trying to figure out, Scorpio, would it be best just to tell you the truth or just continue on this vibe? Because someone here feels like whichever choice they make, like it's not going to be, like they're not going to get the outcome what they're expecting. That's what I'm telling you. Some of you could have recently had surgery. But yeah, someone here has some mental clarity. They know what they're supposed to be doing. But it's like they're trying to figure out which decision is going to be the lesser of the two evil. Should they just go on and just tell you all the truth? You know what I'm saying? Or should they, you know what I'm saying, hold back a little bit of information? Because it's a lot this person has to tell you. But they feel like regardless of what they do, like they don't feel like they're going to get the best outcome out of either decision that they make okay but they had a mental clarity they know exactly what they're supposed to be doing and they're speaking their truth here so what are the outside influences in them? messages for my scorpios we got air sign libra gemini and aquarius so the outside influence is that this person has a lot of wishful thinking okay they're searching for their purpose for some of you this could be your divine counterpart or this could be someone who's searching for their purpose as well. This could be you. They're looking for some type of opportunity. So someone here has a lot of wishful thinking. They're just trying to figure out which is going to be the lesser of the two evils. Telling you the truth, telling you the whole truth, and nothing but the truth is telling you what you want to hear. Because remember, we got this king of cups. And this person wants to manipulate you emotionally here. You know what I'm saying? In that last reading, it talked about someone here wanting to play victim or wanting to throw this pity party. So y'all beware of this person. Beware of this person. All right, so what are the hopes and fears? Messages for my Scorpio. So what are the hopes and fears when it comes to this person and this situation? And we're going to go through the signs. All right, this person fears that they sabotage this connection. Like there is nothing that they can do. They feel like no matter what they do, like nothing is going to be like the right choice. Like there is no right choice. There is no right thing to do when it comes to you and this situation. For some of you, you could be seeing 777. Seven, seven. We got 222 two, two, and 888 eight, eight as well here, okay? These could be messages from your angels, okay? So this person fears like no matter what they do, like nothing's going to be the right decision. So what's going to be the outcome of this? Messages for my Scorpios. What is going to be the outcome of this? I really feel like for some of you, because remember, we had here someone was thirsty for some type of knowledge about you. Where did that card was it? This page of swords. For some of you, this could be an air sign you're dealing with. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We're going to pull on this too. I feel like for some of you, this person 
their decision and how they're going to come about speaking their truth is going to depend on what they find out about you. Like someone here feels like, I feel like if you're dealing with someone else and they really ain't no point in telling you the truth here, you know what I'm saying? They feel like you're single, you know, it may be an opportunity here and they feel like they're going to speak their truth. That's what I'm getting. I'm going to pull on this though. Let's, let's see what the outcome going to be. Messages for my Scorpio. So what's going to be the outcome of this situation for Scorpio? Ooh. This person feels like they don't they done lost you. We got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Tell us more about this Ten of Pentacles. This person don't feel like they're gonna have a successful outcome. Tell us about the Ten of Pentacles. They're taking action towards you. I feel like for some of you, this person's gonna speak their truth. But it's just going to be a misfortunate loss. Because some of you guys, like, they last year and said, you're not open to love. Like, you really don't care at this point what this person has to tell you. 1010 can be significant as well as when you know that some type of ending here has happened. So let's look at this page as forward. So let's see who this is that's thirsty for some knowledge about you. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about this page as forward. Who is thirsty about some knowledge? Okay, someone that's being past judgment, someone who wants to have a new phase with you okay this could be someone who wants your forgiveness they're also going through a spiritual awakening as well okay so this person is thirsty for knowledge about you and what's going on in your life and what you got going on okay it's someone who is facing judgment okay the divine could be passing judgment on this person but they're ready for a new phase they're going through an awakening this is someone who wants your Forgiveness. So let's look at the signs. I'm going to go through all the signs I got here. I ain't going to roll because we got quite a bit. All right. So we got Virgo. We got Gemini. Gemini, Aries, Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio. I'm going to say Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Scorpio, Virgo, Heavy Scorpio. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, and Libra. Okay. So what I will do is pull from the hoodie and we're going to see who this reading is about. For my Scorpios. All right, Holy Spirit. So who is this person that's thirsty for some knowledge about my Scorpios? Why, why they all up in Scorpio bees? Is this something they want to know, y'all? Messages for my Scorpios. Who is this reading about? Now, I can be describing you, Scorpio, or your person. Remember, if you're interested in a personal, all the information you need to know, including my email address and the information about the readings will be in the description box below. All right, who is this about? All right, someone who has salt and pepper hair. Who is this about? Someone who wears a watch. Who is this about, Holy Spirit? All right, someone who has natural hair. Messages for my Scorpios. Let's get a couple more. Who is this reading about for Scorpio? All right, we got someone who wears boots and someone who has braids or dreads. All right, y'all. I love you, Scorpio. And until next time, stay blessed.